Good morning, this is Wayne Bilal with another Smart Profit Maximizer Moment. You know, I haven't introduced myself in a long time. My name is Wayne Bilal. I'm a founder and uh, still an owner of a local CPA firm. Started in 1991 on my own. Been doing this a long, long time. Uh, we basically work with small business owners. We help them do three things. We help them do their tax returns. We help them tax planning. I've helped my clients save over $5 million legally in the last four years. And we help our business owners make more money, which is the reason I do these videos, is to help my business owners and other people that are business owners. Because I'm a strong believer in business owners. I believe they're the backbone of the United States. I believe that's where all, almost all innovation comes from. Um, and it's where well, probably one of the last bastions of American ingenuity and American greatness. Um, also, I'm the creator of the Smart Profit Maximizing System, which we're going to get into July 4th. Pay attention. We're coming right around the corner. June starts. June 1st is Monday. Um, I've been having a lot of discussions lately with business owners that are really nervous, and I, I've been driving around in the carnage from this COVID-19 shutdown, even in Texas, where we're not at the level of crazy shutdowns that we're seeing in California, Michigan, New York, New Jersey. Um, Pennsylvania. I mean, th those places have just gone bonkers. All right. Um, I'm still seeing places shut down. Drove by a shopping center yesterday, saw a for rent sign where there used to be a small business. And that's somebody's dream. That's somebody's um, chance to try to share in the American dream of being independent, of owning their business. And it, it's gone because of this COVID-19 crap. Should we have shut down? Not going to get into it. But I don't think it really accomplished anything, honestly. I mean, we know that the most uh, people my age and above were the ones that were the most at risk, and that's what we should have concentrated on. Um, not convinced that the shutdowns did much good. Um, New York City, 66% uh, of the cases were happening in people who were shut down. So, but that doesn't matter. You know, when I'm having a discussion with business owners, I'm like, it really doesn't matter, you know, because they want to get into that. Should we have shut down? Look what this did to me. And I, I'm like, yeah, it's sad. And it probably shouldn't have happened. All right? I don't think the science is there. I don't think our health people seem to really know what, they, what, they, what we should do. Because it doesn't seem to have worked. All right? And they've made some dumb decisions. Don't wear a mask. It really doesn't help. Wear a mask everywhere, including outdoors, even though there's no uh, science that shows that you know, a mask helps. Social distance, well, it's still spread. Didn't really do any good, all right? Uh, the one or two things we probably should have done, which is protect our seniors, we didn't do <laughs> as well as we should have. Um, and, and do your own homework. Take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. See the difference between some states and that had high morbidity, mortality, blah, 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 mortality rates with seniors like New York, New Jersey, Michigan, and compare it to what happened in Florida, where they concentrated on trying to make sure that the people who took care of the older people were protected, all right, and protecting them. It's a failure. But another failure is what we've done to businesses. And, and like I said, I'm, I'm driving around, I'm starting to see businesses that used to be there that aren't. And I'm having conversations with business owners about, what if I fail, you know? I, I, I had one guy talking to me about, if this doesn't work, I, you know, I have young children, I have a mortgage, other bills to pay. This is, you know, what if I fail? Worry is the biggest thing bothering people right now. It's the biggest thing that stops business owners from succeeding in my mind. It really is. This is where you, you run into trouble as far as I'm concerned. What if I fail? Well, of course you're going to fail. People fail all the time. And one of the things I would say is look at where you're at, accept reality. Accept what's happening. Accept the worst that can happen. What would happen if I failed? If I had to shut down the doors tomorrow, what would I do? Have a plan. Okay, now you've accepted reality. You've accepted the worst case. How can I improve that? That's kind of the next step. How can I improve that? I mean, what people don't understand is the largest part of building a successful business is figuring out what works and what doesn't. And what worked back in January and February probably won't work now. So you need to actually figure out what's gonna work now and how do you survive. 
I have businesses that I call, I have a few people that I, I say they're like Rocky. You know, remember the old movie Rocky with, with Stallone, you know? He's a, that business, that guy, that owner is like Rocky. He's just too dumb to stay down. He gets knocked down, he keeps getting up, coming back for more. He gets knocked down again, comes back up, comes back for more. Anything that happens, we've been through recessions before. We haven't been through a shutdown, but we've been through recessions. And you know what? We haven't been through a shutdown, but we've never had the government step up and help small businesses as much as they've tried to. Has it been perfect? No. Nothing people do is perfect. Nothing government does is perfect. But it's been darn sight more helpful than what small businesses saw back in 2008, 2009, when the banks just dried up and almost went away. When businesses were, where people were laid off. Yes, okay, we got 30 million people unemployed. Well, once we start, once the states start getting stupid, stop getting stupid, <laughs> start getting smarter, I kind of got mixed up there, and start letting people go to work, uh, half of that'll be down, probably, most likely. I mean, are we going to get back down to where we were? No, I think we're going to be in the 8 to 12 that million people unemployed, maybe to start with. You know, when we first opened, it dropped from 30 million to 18 million and then down to 12. We've been there before. We've had that happen to us before. We know what to do with that before. We've done it, all right? So what people don't understand, like I said, is the largest part about building a successful business is figuring out what works and what doesn't. So accept, to do that, you have to accept the new reality and reset your business to operate in this new business. New, and it's not new. That's what I'm trying to say. It's just another recession just had a big boom and it came as a surprise. So people are in shock. You need to get out of shock, okay? The failure, failure is a large part of the formula of figuring out because the company that can figure out in your niche what to do after all of this first is gonna have a huge competitive advantage. And that's try what you think, here's the formula that I use. Try what you think it will work. See what worked, see what didn't. Adjust what didn't work, try again. And repeat the first four steps on the list until you get it right. Just keep trying things. Don't give up. Action. Move. Met movement. Action. Be proactive. Proactive. Changes your mindset from, oh my God, what's going to happen next? You know, I mean, that kind of mindset's stupid. All right? Thomas Edison's famous quote when he was asked about his many failures in trying to invent a, light, a working light bulb says it all when it comes to how entrepreneurs should be operating now. I have not failed. I have found 10,000 ways that it don't, won't work. That's a pretty positive attitude. I haven't failed. I just found things that don't work. I'm going to keep going until I find something that works. I personally like another one of Thomas Edison's quotes. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. There's a book I read, uh, my coach Jim Palmer recommended it, Six Feet from Gold. I read it, great book, read it. Can't tell you how many people probably have given up when they were six feet away from, from gold, when they were just that close. They've done all the work and everybody, that's part of the problem we have. Everybody expects instant gratification and, and truth be told, it takes a lot of work, 10,000 failures to find a light bulb. <laughs> Okay, the only way to become a successful entrepreneur, like I said, is working hard to make your product or service so excellent that customers cannot ignore you. And the only way to do that is to keep learning what works and improving your product or service. So in truth, it's simple. Accept the new, accept the new reality and fail until you don't. Fail until you don't. Hey, until next time, this is Wayne Bilal saying, let's make this our most profitable year ever. Thank you very much.